I want to encourage someone. I just encourage that when you're going through a trial or a test, I remember just recently going through one that I had prayed about something and I was believing by faith and I knew that God had spoke to me and told me that he was going to bless me with it. I knew he said he was going to give it to me and I just remember going through that and I wanted to so bad just say it's not going to happen. I wanted to say it, but I just want you to say, I just want to say this, that when stuff is going bad for you and it looks like you're going through like just this trial is to build us up, is to make us stronger. It's not to make us, you know, give in, throw in the towel, you know, pull the plug, you know, just say, forget it. God's not going to do it. He's not, he's not, he's not doing it. You know, it's not happening. I don't understand what's going on. You know, when I decided to wait on God and I decided to trust him, you know, because when I say I decided, because there was times that I wanted to say, and it's a few of them, a few times, but I'm talking about recent, when I decided that I wanted to say, you know, and it seemed like more and more God was saying, I'm, I'm, I'm here. You know, and, and, and I'm going to be honest, I had to pray and ask God to give me, you know, just strength to be able to endure what you're going through. It's okay to ask that. He knows what we're going through. Remember, his His son came here in a human form, Jesus. He died on the cross for our sins. So he knows exactly what temptation and things we go through, what problems we go through. When we go through tests and trials, he knows what's going on. So he's not he's not in the dark about it. God is not in the, God is not surprised by anything we go through. So when I decided to wait and trust God, that just came through, you know, and we got blessed with that. And not only did we get blessed, it was like almost like somebody just they just it was like it was just like it was waiting on us. Like soon as we got there, I'm I'm telling you, when God blesses you with something, it's almost like the person is waiting there. I've heard that so many times. And I seen it just recently that it's just like somebody's waiting there, like they waiting there to give you the keys. Like here, this is what God has for you. I've been waiting on you to get here. That is how it was. That is literally how it was. When God gives you something, it's like a person is just waiting there with the keys. It's up to us to trust. We have to trust God. We have to learn to trust and depend on him and, and give everything to him. When you start worrying, don't ask him to get you out of it. Because he's making you stronger for where you're going. You got to be stronger for what he's preparing you for. And be able to endure what he's, you know, because the test the, the, to go into the next season of another test or another trial or to be able to, you know, you may be mocked by people. There's a lot of people I was mocked by. I was laughed at. I was talked about. And God is showing them, look what I've done. You might have mocked this person, but look what I'm doing in their life. And I give God all the glory. I give God all the glory for everything that he's done in my life. But I'm just saying, just wait and trust him. Trust and believe that God is coming through. He, what he said he's going to do, he will do it. God is not a man that he should lie. He doesn't go back on his words. He doesn't say, I said I was going to do it. Oh, no, not. I decided not to. He does it. You know why? Because he's God and he could do that. But he definitely knows what we're going through. Because his son, he sent his son here to be in human form. And he was crucified on the cross for our sins. So he knows what we're going through. He knows exactly what we're going through. So I wanted to encourage you to let you know to keep trusting and keep holding on and keep believing and walking by faith. God is with you always. He's never He's never going to leave you nor forsake you. Never. He never leave you nor forsake you. So he's right there, right there, right with you, walking through it with you, picking you up and holding you in sometimes through it. So he's right there. When you can't walk anymore, he'll pick you up and walk and carry you through it. God is there. Trust him and take him at his word. He's not a man that he should lie. He will always come through. It's just his time and you have to trust him and believe. That's what he wants us to do is trust him, have faith and believe. God bless you. Take care. Have a beautiful, blessed night. God bless.